Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. Very good afternoon to you wherever you are on the globe. It is a very hot afternoon here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Well, it is a beautiful day in there because we now finally have our coach in place. Official announcement made, like I brought to you earlier on today. All the coach has to say the message from the board, the ownership, the message from Leicester City itself, the message from the coach. Right now, let's get started. We have more coming from our new head coach, Enzo Maresca to the Chelsea Fraternity. A message. We are starting on that note, dear friend. I'm excited because you know what? He wants to start the preseason now. Yes, he wants to start now. He's not waiting. He doesn't want to wait until the next month or two. No, he wants to start now. Let me tell you, this is a very lovely letter Enzo Maresca wrote for the Chelsea Fraternity. And I read for you quickly. Dear Chelsea fans, it feels amazing to be the new head coach of Chelsea, one of the best clubs in the world, and I am really excited to be here. When I got a call from Chelsea, me and my staff had a feeling that this was too good an opportunity not to take. And personally, and personally, listen, I thought this was a chance I could not let go away. You get it? Who would receive a call from Chelsea and will turn it down. A coach at his level, there is no any how. A coach at his level, unless that coach is not willing for challenges, not willing to have something good on his CV. Even if you come in for three days and you got sacked, it goes on your CV, dear friend. At his level, from being a player to being an assistant to Pep Guardiola, then going to Leicester, taking Leicester from where they were, relegation, and bringing them back to the Premier League within a season, dear friend, it is an opportunity that no coach in that position will, be, will reject. Because it is a huge opportunity. Coming to work in a big club like Chelsea, a successful club like Chelsea, dear friend, you will jump to that opportunity. And that is exactly... He said when he received a call from Chelsea, he and his staff, they were like, this is the chance. This is the opportunity. Listen, he said, we, we could not miss this opportunity to be part of this club and to be part of the Chelsea family. To work with this squad and compete in the toughest league, in the Premier League, and of course, the Champions League is something we are excited to take on. It is something we are excited to take on, dear friend. To the fans, your unwavering support and loyalty are the lifeblood, are the lifeblood of this club. I promise to give a team, to give you a team that you can be proud of. I promise to give you a team that you can be proud of. Chelsea fans, hmm. One that will fight for every ball, a team that will fight for every ball, every goal, and, e and every victory. We will make you proud, and we will do it with style, flair, and a bit of humor. We will do it with style, flair, and a bit of humor. Dear friend, this is the letter from Enzo Maresca to the Chelsea fans out there. To you out there, dear friend. And I want you to understand something. It is getting excited he said i am super happy to be here and really excited to get to work can't wait to meet you all come on blues come on blues come on chelsea fans that is from our head coach to you out there dear friend well 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 enzo Mar maresca officially joined chelsea to replace mauricio Pochettino on a five-year deal with an option for a further season he joined with, he joined by six backroom staff. Yes, he joined by six backroom staff. Those are the staff he was talking about. Six, there are six, including his assistant and a former goalkeeper, Willy Cabello. First choice option, unanimous decision from Chelsea influential players. Enzo believed to be excited to get started. Yeah. As for data. He asked for a data or data profile on all first team and academy players. He already started working by requesting for a data from for all the first team players and even the academy players. 
He wants every player's data one by one. From the first team players to the academy players, he wants to have their data. He wants to work with their data, their performance data. He wants them. And not just that, he said the professional approach of Leicester appreciated internally at Stamford Bridge. The fact that he, he is acting this way, requesting for data of every player at this point in time, means that he has something he really wants to implement. He's going to be working with data, you analyze data, and you work with every player on an individual basis. This is not just a joke, dear friend. I am excited about the opportunity. Listen, if this team fails, if Chelsea fails next season, it is the fault of the board and the directors. As a matter of fact, any failure, no one will blame the coach. It will lie straight away at the doorsteps of the, the directors. Any failure next season, and I believe his target, the target given him is Champion League, Champions League, not sixth position, not fifth position. Champions League football, that is the target. Yes, and any failure to get through to the Champions League next season, the owner, the, the, how do you call it, the directors will have to take the blame solely. Before even a coach is sacked, the directors must go. I believe you Chelsea fans out there, you agree with me. I know you agree with me on that. All right? Okay. Before I continue with Chelsea, quickly, quickly, this came up since yesterday. UEFA Champions League team of the season has just been unveiled. The Champions League team of the season has been unveiled. Player of the season was Vinicius Jr. UEFA player of the season was Vinicius Jr. Young player of the season was Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham was a young player of the season. And as you can see on your screen right now, that is the, team, the UEFA player of the season. Team of the season from UEFA. That is what you can see right there on your screen. Team of the season from UEFA. That's what you can see right there on your screen. Dear friend, all right, before I let you go this afternoon, I want to point out something. I want to point out something quickly. Yes, quickly, 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 quickly. Together, we will bring back Chelsea Football Club back to its best. That is on Enzo Maresca's Twitter account this morning, a few hours ago. Enzo Maresca, in his good morning statement to the Chelsea fraternity, he says... Together, we will bring back Chelsea Football Club back to its best. Tell me what you want, Blues. Tell me what you want, Blues, according to Enzo Maresca on his Twitter account this morning. Tell me what you want. I want to hear from you, Adelso, what you expect from our new coach in this season. He is asking on, on his ex profile. He said, Tell me what you want, Blues. That is a message from him this morning, the day after the official announcement dear friend yes in conclusion i want to end with jose moreno <laughs> i want to end this special edition with jose moreno jose moreno reflect on why he chose fenabachi why he chose fenabachi and he threw a jive at certain teams including our own team chelsea <laughs> this is what he said he said being at a london Fighting for six. Is that ambition? You are in London and you are fighting for six position. Is that an ambition? To be in Italy, fighting for fifth place. Is that ambition? Jose Moreno is asking this question. In his press conference yesterday. You are in Italy and you are fighting for fifth position. Is that an ambition? You are in London and you are, you are fighting for sixth position. Is that an ambition? <laughs> Jose. Ambition is to play to win. Ambition is to play to win. Ambition is to feel the pressure. To feel the pressure of winning. When you are not winning, you are under pressure. That is an ambition. This is Fenerbahce. Meaning that is why he chose Fenerbahce to win with them. He won a club and when he gets there, winning the league, winning trophy is what the aim will be. He doesn't want a club where they will say, okay, let's just qualify for Europe. Let's just qualify for Europe. Oh, we won this season. Let's wait. No, 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 no. Going to Fenerbahce, the target is to win the league. The target is to be in Europe next season. 
Winning is what Jose wants, and that is an ambition, according to Jose Moreno. Dear friend, what do you think? Let me hear from you in the comment section. I will see in the next one when you see me. Like, I, like always, I tell you exclusively. Like the video, share the video. Please remember to click on that share button. And let me hear from you in the comment section. Hey, dear friend, if it's your first time or you are new here, please subscribe, click on that subscription button, and on the notification bell. So in case of any breaking news or exclusives, you will be first to be notified. I will see you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.